All right, guys, good afternoon from somewhere in the jungles of Patalung province. We're pretty much in between Patalung and Trang, like in the mountain range that runs between the two provinces. And this place is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to give you a hotel tour because we're staying in this absolutely beautiful place. Look at our surroundings. It is so peaceful. So let me take you inside. We've got this nice little porch area. Got a mosquito coil down there, which tells me in the evening it's going to be loads of the critters about. I'll take you in. Now this room is extremely nice, honestly. For us, anyway. So as soon as you come in, we've got a huge aircon, which is extremely powerful. It's like the bloody Arctic when you turn that on. A really comfy bed. Really simple. We've got a place to hang our stuff. We've got a telly, which... Obviously, we're just not going to use, but it is a really nice bathroom. Let me show you the bathroom. Oh, let's turn the light on. Really nice, really clean. Really cool, we've got a good shower. You know, one of the big shower heads. Look at this sink as well, it's like wooden sink. That's really cool, isn't it? But yeah, the star of the show is what I'm going to show you in a minute. We've got coffee, tea, coffee hot water, fridge, they put a few fizzy drinks in there, they do food, so there's a food menu and the food, we'll be eating this later, so you'll see, it's actually not overpriced at all, the prices are really reasonable. And yeah, that's the room, now let me show you the, the bloody main event, so from here, like from the bed, look at the view we have, how ridiculous is that, you can see Leash out here reading on a cobble, we are right on the river, so I'll show you, we've got the sliding door, Oh, what's this as well? We've got the Mosnet. So we can keep that open if we want at night. It's going to hear the noise from like the insects on the river. It's absolutely stunning out here. Yeah, we've got this like balcony area, terrace area. It's so nice. And the net. They're mad on these nets in Thailand. I love them as well. What do you have? Like, they're so good. You can just absolutely chill out. I mean, it's incredible. You can just lie down, kick back like leashes. <laughs> like, listen how loud it is though. Can you hear like all the, it's the river and then all the crazy insects. But then the view, like on the other side of the net, we are on the river. So we'll head down there soon and have a swim. So beautiful. You can see there's a few different rooms. But yeah, we're just like in the jungle. So this is gonna be really nice at night to sleep. With, you know, with all the noise in the background. Because even with the door shut, you can hear it all. And then, on that, the hotel property, literally just down there is a waterfall. So we'll check that out as well. We'll go for a walk down there to the waterfall. Right, I'll just take you down to the river now. It's our first time going down here. And we've got a little kitty. Little cat that looks really grumpy. Somebody cat. Terrified, of course. Now this place is called Goklang Ton Pretong Camping which is hard to say but yeah and yeah if you're wondering it's way out of our budget like we never ever stay in places like that whatsoever that room costs it's supposed to cost 1700 baht a night which is like $50 which isn't that expensive though for what you get I mean, if this was in like England or anywhere, it'd be so expensive. It'd be like five times that more. So it is actually very good value, but the owner is lovely. The owner, Bung, I spoke to him and he's given us a cracking deal. So thank you so much. Yeah, really happy to be here. Look at this. This is beautiful. Literally, the room is there. You can see our net, leash that in the net. And we're right on the river. I mean, what's the water like? Nice cold water. So nice. I'm gonna try and not fall in, but. Yeah, it's like heaven. And you can see the river just runs. So there's a waterfall down there and then the river runs all the way down. Down there and I'm guessing there'll be a few different pools, like, you know, like deeper bits you can swim in, paddle in or whatever. But yeah, the water's really nice. So we're definitely going to head up to that waterfall and go for a swim very soon. So stay tuned. 
But yeah, what a hotel, what a place. Just in the middle of the like Patalung jungle, the road here, there, there was absolutely nobody in the road. We just drove through like the middle of nowhere. Beautiful, beautiful paved roads. Nobody there. And here we are. There's the room. What a place. Right, here is the river that runs right past our room. How incredible is this little spot? So our room is literally there. We've walked like 30 seconds over here because the actual waterfalls are over there. But I'll tell you what, just the river's nice. Like you don't even need to go to that waterfall. You could just come and swim in this river. We've got like big rock formations and stuff. You know, some deeper bits, some shallow bits. It's well nice. Look at this. Proper nature, literally just right on our doorstep, like, couldn't be any more on our doorstep, could it? The waterfalls are here, we'll take a look at these in a second. Then also, just next to the waterfall, there's these little areas they built, where I think you can put a mat down and eat your food. Which is so nice, isn't it? So you can eat right here, next to the river. It is so nice around here. Like, look at this. And there's just people like in every little deep pocket of the river, you'll just find a couple of people just like bathing. Getting relief from that sun, it's like 35 degrees today here in Southern Thailand, it's roasting, believe me. I mean luckily, we've got a lot of cloud cover but it's still roasting. But it's so nice, we need to pick a spot to chill out. Then on this side, off the river, it's just absolute chaos. Oh wow, there's like a natural slide. So all the local Thai people are swimming in this deep bit and they're all like sliding down. We'll see in a second. Sorry, cab. Look at that, they're sliding down. They've like lubricated it, I think. They've put some on so they can slide down. That's well funny. We'll head down here after, I think first. We'll try and get some peace. But it does look really fun down there. Like there's so many local Thai people. Everyone's in like the, the rubber tubes as well, the rubber rings. And as you can see, it's like dry, obviously, because obviously it's summer. I'm guessing in wet season, there's so much more water all over all the rocks. Everyone's having a whale of a time in there, aren't they? Yeah, it's well nice here. It's just like proper jungle. Check this out. So yeah, the water level is super low, obviously, this time of year, but it's still so smart. You can see the jungle mountains everywhere. We are just, we're like right in the jungle. It's well nice. Put these people swimming in this bit here. A bit of a rapid, a bit of a plunge pool there. Yeah, it's absolute chaos down there. And oh, we're not in a people mood. We're in just a serene nature mood. So we're gonna head near to our room and try and find a spot that's on a little river where we can just line the river and just listen to the bloody sounds of nature, the birds. Get some therapy in us. That is the plan. Let's find a relaxing spot. I just soak it all in. What a place this is. Absolutely stunning. Our room is literally right there. Why not just get in right in front of our room? There's a little frog on the rock there, staring at me in the eyeball. We're we'll trying to find a little deep bit we can just like plunge in. Get some of that water on our shoulders. Well nice here. Here's the spot we've chosen pretty much like just outside our room, literally our room's there. It's like 20 steps and we're in the river. And I tell you what, it's cold. There's a little waterfall here. We can like run it over our head. Like a massage, natural massage. Go on Leash, dive in. It's just a rock. <laughs> yeah, underneath the all tight rocks, you're gonna like watch <laughs> while she kick them. <laughs> Did it push you down? Put your head in there, it's like a head massage.
<laughs> it is actually quite cold. Obviously, it's nothing like compared to like, the UK waters. But it is a little bit chilly. It's cool, also. No, oh, it's got a bit of force. But look how nice this is. Like, there's no one here. So beautiful. You can just jump out of your room there. Walk down the steps. Come for a swim in the river. It's like paradise, isn't it? Oh, it is quite chilly. It's not mega cold, but it's like because it's so hot outside. It's like 35 degrees. Oh, it does feel cold. Yeah, the sun's gone. The sun has completely been covered up by the cloud. Right, so we just found out you can actually order food to eat wherever you want. So you can go and eat in the restaurant or you can just order it to your room so we can eat on our balcony here. How good is that? Like we can eat with this view right by the river. Now the menu is 100% in Thai so we've had to do a bit of translating. But we've sorted it out, we've ordered our food. Hopefully it'll be really good. Let's see. And the prices as well. Not too bad at all, just a tiny bit more expensive than like anywhere else, which is decent with, with it being like a secluded like jungle resort, you'd think it'd be really expensive, but no, just like a tiny bit more than usual. So I think that's great. Let's see. I've had enough of this management, absolute dog shit. Bloody hell, stressed out my head. Fly to Benidorm tomorrow, I'm not even gonna pack my bloody bags. Pass us me fags, love. That's better. <laughs> oh wow, looks good. Couple of makeup. Bloody hell. Look at this for luxury, that smells well good just as it's passed through. Yeah, so you literally can order the food and they'll just bring it straight to your balcony. Cute auntie cooks it up. It actually looks really good. So here's the food, it smells really good as well. Ooh. Let's get a drink and then, yeah, let's get stuck in. Right, so the food actually looks really good. It smells delicious. Alicia's got a lab guy, chicken lard. We've got a spicy mango salad, looks fantastic. I've just got a classic pad kapow mousse up. So like a minced pork pad kapow with the egg. Is it a runny egg? Oh, that's a good egg. And yeah, we've got all these chilies in there. Look at all those red chilies. We've got the kapow leaves. Looks nice and spicy. Oh, the only thing is because we've got delivery, we don't have the fish sauce and chilies to throw on the egg, but oh well, who cares? I mean, this view compensates for that, I guess. I guess. And yeah, oh, classic sticky rice to go with the log. Oh, and this bad boy, the bloody, is it the green Fanta? The extremely sweet exotic panta. Which is delicious, you can't deny, I mean, not good for you, but. Let's try that pad kapow. Actually looks quite good. I had no expectations, so let's get some of that. Chase it with some egg. Mm. It's actually pretty delicious. Mm. Really tasty, it's, it's dry. Really dry taste, which I actually really like. Mm. That's delicious. Let's try this spicy mango salad. Let's get our sticky rice, our cow niel. Let's get a big scoop of it. Cheers. Mmm, really good, really crunchy, quite spicy, not gonna lie, there's a lot of red chilies in there, mmm, and in this as well to be fair, look, you see them all, mmm, pretty delicious. Now let's just try Leash's chicken log, oh it looks really good, there's lots of herbs in there, look at that. Mm. That's really good. Look at flavour explosion, that's really good. 
Mm. That is delicious. Now I think the lob was a hundred baht. I think the sometime was fifty baht. I think mine was seventy baht or eighty baht. I can't remember. So yeah, the prices aren't crazy expensive, and it's actually pretty tasty. Hear that insect? That is so loud. What is that? But yeah, this is amazing, isn't it? That jungle luxury. What do you think, Leash? So good, so it's delicious. Spicy though. Leash is there in a PJ's. <laughs> Living the lawn. PJC right next to the room. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. We've woken up at 5 a.m. and we're heading off out on a jungle hike to see the sunrise from a viewpoint somewhere. I have no idea. We're just trundling along in the pitch black. I've got my best jungle attire on. The flip flops. Ants keep biting my feet. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't get any harder than this. But we're into cross streams and all kinds of stuff. <sighs> Mosquito paradise. Swimming. Yeah. Swimming. <laughs> See when we get there. So I think we're getting close. You can see the sun peeking through over there. The lights, it's got a bit bright. And then we're walking through a rubber plantation. So you can see these pots are completely full of rubber. Which is super interesting. I've never seen them full up like that. So it shouldn't be too much further. Hopefully, it's not up like the top of the mountain. We'll see. Typical. As soon as we get to the top, it starts to piss it down. Absolutely typical. The second the viewpoint came into view, it started to piss it down. And you can see a snippet there. We're going to wait until the rain stops and then we're going to take a look. It isn't going to stop raining, so I'll just show you the views with what we've got. It's absolutely stunning up here. So the sun's just come up, but it's super cloudy and raining, so it's, you can't actually see the sun. But yeah, you can still see some clouds in the valleys. Over there, you can see a proper sea of clouds. How beautiful is this? Yeah, there we go. Not a bad first view in the morning. It's well beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I see the rain to stop. Look at this little viewpoint. You can stand on the edge. And down there, it's so impressive. It's that proper jungle view. That proper. And up here there's like a little temple, it's really nice. Let's get back in the shelter. Wow, so literally as we were studying, the clouds have just started to roll in and the entire view has been just like masked. Look at that, these clouds just rolling through the valley. You can't see anything now. Then look over there, it adds a proper atmosphere to it though, doesn't it? It's so nice up here. Honestly, it's like, just like proper Thai jungle atmosphere. Well nice. It's like taking up the entire view. Crazy. You can see it lifting as well, it's lifting so fast. It's about to hit us. The rain's like settling now and the sun's come up near enough fully. It's so nice up here. Now this lady, she's 20 today. So the hot, so ever since we got up here, they've been trying to blow these balloons up. They've finally blown them up. So it's now time for the 20th birthday photo shoot. It's really funny actually. To be fair, the pictures will be really nice. But yeah. It's creative, isn't it? How did they think of doing that? Look at that, that's a good picture. <laughs> but yeah, the view, the view up here is incredible. You could sit up here for hours. I think at sunset it would also be really, really, really nice. Like, it's just jungle, there's like nothing here, not built up at all. 
Like a few little houses on the street. Really nice. So where we are now is approximately 1,332 metres of sea level. We're now at a place where conservation is at its peak. There is multiple and many species of lizards that live in this jungle. If you're quiet, you can hear them. One of them's called the Wailing Willy. Can you hear that? I'm just getting some inspiration for my 20th birthday coming up. You must believe that's happening. In the distance, you can also hear all the monks chanting in the various different temples in this jungle. I can't even see the temples, but you know they're there because you can hear the chanting. Well nice up here. Definitely worth the walk. It wasn't even far. It took, what did I say, like 40, 45 minutes, but it wasn't super steep, so it wasn't bad at all. And the worst bit was because of my clothes, the flip-flops. Because we were constantly walking over like huge ant's nest and as soon as you stepped on they all just like latched onto your foot. But yeah, we're walking back down now but yeah if I just spin the camera around you can see like we're just like in the middle of the jungle. It's crazy. So you've got like a small temple at the top but it's so nice around here honestly. Proper lush green jungle. Oh, and here we've got the temple dogs. The barking temple dogs. Yeah, it's so, how nice it up here. We've got these like rocks sticking out the ground as well. And look at the view here. Well, nice. I don't even know where we are. I can't even tell you where this is. All I can tell you is it's somewhere in the jungles of Patalong. In between Patalung and Trang, that's all I can tell you. I don't know. I don't know the name of this area. Right. So breakfast is included in the rooms, and we have like a self-serve buffet. So here we've got congee jock. So if I can do this one-handed, oh, I will try my best. That go there, yeah. So I've got my bowl. Let's just get a big scoop of this, this is like just rice, boiled rice porridge, looks like there's a bit of pork in there as well. Yes, uh, boiled rice is chicken. Chicken, oh chicken, not chicken pork. So there's chicken in there. So it's chicken, congee, probably steaming up my um, camera there. Oh, don't want to spill it. Let's get a big bowl of this. So we've got fried garlic, throw a load of that in. We have got ginger. Ginger or galangal? Ginger. ginger. Got the ginger going in. Oh, not, not too much of the ginger. And then we've got pickled turnip. That's interesting, isn't it? Get a load of that in. Looks really good, that. Then our veg, that we've got, what have we got? Coriander, spring onions, need a lot of that. Bring the freshness. And then we've got the chilli flakes. So we'll use our spoon for that. Let's get a big spoon of them. Delicious stuff. Oh, and a bit of pepper. We'll throw a bit of pepper on for good measure, eh? That was really good. And then we've got the boiled eggs, which Leash has already got on the table. Right, and as well as the congee station, we've also got like a toast station. So we've got bread to put in the toaster and like various jams, orange jam, strawberry jam, condensed milk, of course. Greatest thing ever to throw on bread. We've got coffee, Ovaltine, which I'll admit I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's all right. And then we've got like the Thai donuts, I've forgotten the name. And here we've got like sticky, sticky rice and banana. And the others are sticky rice and I don't know what. But yeah, it's just like a full-on buffet. But look where the restaurant is. Look at the view. It is right on the waterfall. And there's no one here. So after breakfast, we're going to try and get straight in and show you over there. It looks, it looks like heaven. But we're just eating here. Like, what a nice place to eat. And the owner. It's Sonu we just went on the hike with, really wanted fried chicken on the way down. 
So he's going to get some fried chicken. I think he's going to get some for us. So we've got our congee, which is actually all right. Chicken congee, it's just the basic breakfast. It fills you up. Oh, it's actually spicy. Mm. You've got all kinds of stuff, haven't you? You've got the fried garlic, the ginger, coriander, the chilli. Mm. Coffee. And then yeah, we've got these sticky rice parcels. I'll open them up in a minute. And we threw the eggs into the congee as well. But look how nice this place is to have breakfast like. Because it's midweek, there's just no one here. But yeah, check out the view. It's even like a little beach over there. Well nice. Alicia's on the toast. Busted! Alicia's got the toast, then we've got the condensed milk toast. Strawberry jam toast. Sometimes, there's just nothing better. It's a timeless classic. I don't care what you say. And this is really filling. I went too heavy on the portion. It's actually really filling. Here are those sticky rice parcels. We're actually unsure what this one is. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's just smell a bit shrimpy. Oh. It just tastes a bit like a some sort of shrimp mixture. Hmm. Don't know about that. It's nice, I don't know what it is. And then this one is obviously banana. That like purple. Oh they're sticky aren't they? What the hell? Come on. Yeah, so that is banana in there. I mean, I don't know why it's purple, but I just know these usually extremely sweet. Oh, is it banana? There's like storms in there. I have no idea what it is. Quite nice though, but I don't know what it is. Not overly sweet, actually. Fried meat is good. Yes. We'll get two of these fried chicken legs and a sticky rice. Oh, let's throw some of these fried shallot on the top. Should we put it on the sticky rice? Yeah, quite a bit on the top of the chicken as well. Oh, this has gone everywhere. This is a massive portion. Yes. <laughs> I've made a mess. Holy shit, how are you on camera looking like an absolute mum? Because A nasty mum. No, mum, you don't do that. Throw things over the table, not clean it to the back of yourself. It's just manners. <laughs> I was going to clean it up. Right, come on, put some shallots in here. I don't want to take it all. I'll right, we'll also throw some of this shallot on the sticky rice. Be careful with that hand gesture. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. As if we weren't pulling off. Okay, couple my cup. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's go. Yeah, so as if we weren't pulling off already, I'm absolutely stuffed. We've now just got a massive pile of sticky rice. A couple of fried chicken legs. Not bad is it? They love the people here. They've actually just especially gone out just to get the fried chicken because they still wanted it. And everyone, they're sharing with everyone. So. Nice people. Mm. Fried shallot. Mmm, really good. Mm. Let's just give this fried chicken a taste. Get some of the crunchy fried shallot. Really good. Really dirty breakfast. But it is really good. I'm just so full now. Loads of sticky rice. It's a massive chicken leg, isn't it? It is. One leg bigger than the other. <laughs> really good though. And did I mention? We're eating with a view. Have I said that yet? Right, so we're heading to the waterfall and Bung's son, Austin, is going to take us and he's going to guide us. And we're going in the bad boy Sam Lore with Bung's uncle. It's all going on. So we're jumping in the side. Did he have? Oh, he's got proper seats. Oh, we've installed it. 
<laughs> Which I've been in style today. The three wheel bad boy. We're taking the fish food as well. Apparently there's loads of fish to feed. Yeah, so you can just get in there. Well, I think we're, where we're going now is like round the corner. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know where we're going. Oh, I'm nearly falling off here. I might hang it off the edge. It's fun, isn't it? It's so beautiful around here, honestly. That proper just middle of nowhere jungle business. Need to hold on now. And oh, look at the views as well. We're just like, we're at the bottom of the mountain. Cool, cool now. How much are they? How much are they? Sounds No? No, no, Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Free. Oh, free. Oh, oh nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a free fish food. There must be loads of fish then, we'll see. Oh, we got to the duck, we got to go under the. I'm getting decapitated. So it's early morning, there's like no one here, but in the afternoon it gets so busy. Like yesterday, it was so many people soon in the pools, like local families having fun. Getting on the bikes before yeah. even. That's better, it makes more sense, doesn't it? they also got tubes, which tells you people either to swim in them or go tubing down. So, what do you have? So, yeah, they've got all kinds. They've got like loads of food. They've got grummy. So, what do you have? <laughs> It goes well nice. I mean I don't even know how this is making up the hill with all four of us on it, but I mean we're barely making it. <laughs> we're gonna have to get off and walk. <laughs> we're going about two miles an hour. Ah, so here we are. So this is the top of the waterfall. So the waterfalls go down there, maybe. I don't know. Sorry, Cab. Can you swallow the fish? Or is this the fish spot? Oh, do they know? The fish know this is the spot. Ah, they're all coming over now. Yeah. So yeah, there's so many fish. I don't know if you'll be able to see these on the camera. There's absolutely loads of them. Oh, you can see them there, as soon as the food goes in. Like a feeding frenzy. Can you see them all? Wow, there's absolutely loads. There's hundreds of them in here. <laughs> Literally, wherever you throw the food, they'll just appear. So if I throw it over there, can you see they just swarm it. There's absolutely everywhere. Flat <laughs> mad. So many of them. Not got a bad home, have they? Look how beautiful it is here. Will they not bite my feet? No problem, might be like. I'm, I'm actually a bit scared to go in. I feel like we'll be in a feeding frenzy, all like bite my feet. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, they're too close to me. They're too close to my feet. Oh my god. Oh, at least she's throwing fish food at me. So many fish. I'm getting out before they bite my feet off. Is it cold? So nice. So is this where the waterfalls like begin? Like, like the river? Yeah, it must be. This must be like where it all starts and then the water must just go all the way down there to where we were before, like down with, like, like waterfalls, like mini waterfalls everywhere. It's well nice. The water's like super fresh and cold. Well nice. All these fish are in here and every time they just follow you around because they kind of like they know that people must feed them so they're like wherever you go they just appear if you just start like splashing around they're all here and it's well nice here it's so relaxing so chilled out just proper just pure nature i'd love to come here like in the peak of rainy season and see what it's like but i bet it's impossible to swim 
but it's a proper rapids. So nice. I think we'll head down there in a minute to like the bit where the deeper pools are and stuff. We've got this little like walk across bit as well that you can like walk across and not fall in. Definitely not fall in. But yeah, how nice is this? And because it's early morning, there's no one here, so come early morning. Best time to come. Oh, there she is. Oh, <laughs> Lee, she's bullying the kids. She's pushing the kids over. Oh, they're having a splash off. <laughs> kids are so cute around here. So over there, there is also like a hydroelectric dam at the top somewhere. We've got like the picture of the king over there as well. Well nice. This is so funny, that little girl that Lisa's playing with. The family are going, and she's crying. And she's crying because she really wants to stay and play with Leash. They were playing in the water and she was having so much fun. She doesn't want to go. She was so cute. She's actually really upset that she has to go. Whoop! So I don't know what's going on, we just jumped in the back of Uncle's truck now. So he drives the Samlor and he drives the truck. Man of all trades, like Leash says. I think this is the hydroelectric power plant, we'll see. Ah, yeah. Whey! <laughs> Good? Yen, yen, ma, yen, mai? Mai yen. So our hotel is there. I didn't realise how close we were, literally across the river. This is absolutely beautiful. So in the morning there's just nobody here. So let's get swimming. Definitely, we've got to get in here. Look at it, it's so beautiful. So we've got all these different pools. There's a deep one there, one here, one here, and there's like a slide. So everyone was putting soap or something on here and sliding down. How beautiful is this? And the water is so clear. He's going to show us a slide. Austin is going to show us. Gonna show us how it's done. But just look at the surroundings. Where's, oh, we had breakfast there, so there's the restaurant. So this is literally right on the hotel's doorstep. Absolutely stunning location, isn't it? Is it hard to climb up? Slippy. How is it? It's not deep. Is this the slide? We need Austin to show us. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Natural slide. It's literally the perfect spot. You can come here all day. You can chill. You've got shade to hide in. Bring some food and drinks, some beers, and let's have a proper good time. Well beautiful. And like I say, like what? Like a 30 seconds walk from our room. It's so nice here. Yeah. I'm going to get in now. Give it a go. Well, you can see me, we're gonna go for a swim. It looks so nice. I'm gonna try that slide out. I think you might have to get wet first. Get a bit lubricated, but we'll try anyway. There's no harm in there. Oh, that hurt. 
Way, and that'll be it. That will be all from Gokklangton Pretong Camping. What a little place we found. This is a proper hidden gem. I don't even know how we saw this. We just came across this area on the map and I definitely recommend coming here. This place we stayed is stunning. There's, there's so much stuff you can do. Like in the area as well, there's so many different waterfalls. Like, I mean, I'm happy with the one we went to today though. Like, I'd just go there every day for a swim, but this, this area is just full of stuff. And then our neighbor, our neighbors who we went on the water with just give us some bloody Thai. Thai wine. I don't know what that's all about, but yeah, we'll try them after. And yeah, what a little time we've had. So we're going to head back to Patalong City now. So yeah, stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks for watching. Ciao.